Now, before we simulate the processor top using the Veilor Test Bench, we need to create the project and add all the RK source codes and the Veilor Test Bench. The steps for creating the project and adding the files is similar to what we have discussed already in the RIS 5 ALE simulation process. Okay, so here I have already added all the RK source code and the TB. You can see here. Okay. So this is the test bench module and this is the processor top and these are the below the sub modules which I already have added and then I have clicked on simulate behavioral model because I'm performing a simulation which has invoked the iframe window here. So I'm it is displaying here like in the console mode it is displaying like reset is perfect for SYIP code then the and it is basically the R type test case that has started. The program counter is byte addressable during flush by PC equal to 4. The next instruction is SLT which is working perfect. Program counter is byte addressable PC equal to 8. So like that for R type instruction different combinations are taken here. Different functions are being verified. Once it is completed it is displaying R type test case passed. Then it is starting the I type test case. Similarly for I type the different functions we are checking here and I'm also tracking the PC value which is again byte addressable and it compared the sample with the expected result it should match. So similarly for each type of instruction the display message you will get here load store but here you see the other test cases I mean the other instructions are not displaying. The reason is by default the iframe simulator runs for one microsecond but our test bench might need more than this simulation time so what you have to do you have to click on restart and run all now when you do that now you can see in the console the other instructions after store if you see we have jump and link then we have jump and link reg right then we have load upper immediate followed by b type instructions right so now all the instructions have been passed and finally what is displayed risk by processor code verification passed and it is displaying a pass message this is how we can check how exactly the self-checking test bench is displaying the result in the console mode. Also you can see the waveform mode as well. So this is the default WCFG file which can float. Okay, And here you can see all the signals have been added. We can use the magnifier and you can just make sure that all the signals are added properly and you are able to see the waveforms for example clock reset and depending on the different blocks we should come and check the output over here as well if you look at only the test bench signals have been added if you want to add an individual block that is suppose program counter so i should come back to isim window click on instance click on duty click on pc instance right click click to add to wave window now go back to the waveform editor you can see the PC related ports internal signals have been added and you click on restart and run all. Now after running the simulation again the program counter which you have added later will be populated you can see the values and then you keep a track of for example since the first one is R type right so I will go and track my I adder value that is I adder out. I right click, I change the radix to unsigned decimal and you see the I error out value is changing the way you are expecting right, it is byte addressable. So like that for relevant instructions we have to add the sub blocks and we have to check the output. Okay, So I am sure uh, you enjoyed the complete clips of all the clips basically and the RIS-5 IP code processor verification. Now let's synthesize the processor top RTL. For that you have to come back to IEC project navigator and select the view from simulation to implementation mode. Now, when you do that you will see the TB won't be reflected here and the top module will be already set as the top. You can see here that shows here the MSRV32 underscore top dot V5 is the top module. And then below you select synthesize option right click and click on run. Okay, so let's check the synthesis process, how it is happening in the console mode. 
Now once the process of synthesis has been completed successfully, you will click here and we'll click on view IT schematic. Select the second option, start with a schematic of the top level block. Okay, now you can see here, this is the black box of the RIS-5 top module. We can float it and then we will double click on this top and now you can see the sub blocks of the top where you see all the different sub blocks like the ALU, the load unit, the right bulk mark selection is similar to that the rest of the blocks. You can cross check that and now suppose I want to see what are the logical components inferred for the ALU block. You select that block and double click and within that block you will see the different components. So this is how you can go to individual blocks and check what are the logical components been inferred during synthesis. All right, so guys, that's all about the complete uh, synthesis flow. And I'm sure you would have enjoyed all the clips, all the sessions of this particular video. And uh, that's it. And all the best for your project. And thank you so much for attending the series.